Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a fun little tissue box room for a cat. This video goes with the cat bed tutorial and the little closet or wardrobe tutorial that I did uh, not too long ago, so I won't actually be doing those two in the video, but I will be doing everything else. Always ask a parent for help before starting any craft, and for this project you'll need a Hey y'all! Eustace, what are you doing? The end of the video, silly! Oops y'all, see you soon! So I start with a wide tissue box, remove the front and top piece, reinforce, cut out some pieces of cardboard for your bottom, back and sides. And so because my tissue box is so short, I've actually cut my pieces to be a little bit taller because I want a bit more height in my room. Wrap each piece in scrapbook paper or craft on paper. glue inside. And do the same with your other pieces. For your window, cut out a picture that's appropriate. I took mine from a Better Homes and Gardens magazine. Cut off cardboard, thin cardboard from a cereal box. Glue together. Trim. And mine is just over three and a half wide and half tall. Then cut popsicle sticks to fit around the edges. Cut another piece to fit inside, and then two more along the tops and bottoms, and glue in place. While your window's drying, for the cat scratching post, cut out two pieces of brown craft foam paper, one slightly smaller than the other, and then two pieces of thin cardboard to glue together. Allow it to dry. Take a thin strip of paper at the height for your cat. Roll it. Glue it shut. around pipe cleaner or twine around your paper. Take some string, I'm just using two little strands here. You don't need it to be very long and you want to make sure that it will fit inside of your bead. Um, you want a fairly small hole with your bead. Tying four knots at the end in the same spot. My string. Fit through, and that my knot is big enough that it won't go through. So I can trim this excess here, and I've got a little ball that dangles from some string. Set that to the side. When dry, trim your pieces, glue to your base. And before gluing your top piece, glue your dangly section. Or you can just tape it. And while that's drying, we can glue our window. And then when dry, glue to the top for a little cat scratching post. And for the final touches, make a fun little cat toy using a feather and a Q-tip, and simply gluing it inside.
or a fun little cat toy for your cat. And little games. So this is just a game of checkers. I made this a while back, just using red craft foam paper, drawing lines, filling in with black marker, and then using a hole punch to cut out bits of craft foam paper. Well guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, check Rainbow Tinkle out on Facebook, and be sure to tune in for my next project. Okay, Emma up. Is it my turn? Yeah? No? Yes, baby? Emma? Good? Yeah? Huh? Okay. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I don't care what they say. I'm doing it. All right, y'all. Special shout out to Pineapple's Rule, LPS Savior, Halo Early, and Moon LPS. Thanks so much, y'all. Now, I'm going to get on my horse and get on out of here. All right, horsey. Let's mow it. Psst. Eustace. Yeah, sugar. That's a rocking horse. Whoops.